route we're on the scarp of the North Downs got the North Downs Way National Trail just not that very far over there and a lot of these settlements were built way before Christianity took over but way before then but they're all sort of built along these ancient ridgeways and I've always wanted to know why so what I'm going to do is ask a couple of those questions again hope you can see me okay here is there an earth energy current coming through West Humble Chapel is an earth energy current coming through West Humble Chapel yes yes is for crossing negative is out Is there an earth energy current going across Surrey and southern England? Yes. Are there two energy currents, a yin and yang, male and female? Yes. And just to prove a negative, just to prove a negative. Is this a Michael and Mary current? Is this a Michael and Mary current? No that's up from the one I was speaking about earlier has this energy been discovered before yes okay has this energy field in Surrey been discovered before no okay Is it as powerful earth energy current as the Michael and Mary line? Yes. Okay. Good. And should I try to map it out? Yes. One other question I asked yesterday. When I was in Hampton Court, I say I got this really strong energy in the chapel. And I asked this question. Is the Royal Chapel at Hampton Court a node point, a cross point of these earth energies? Yes. And was it that energy that affected me yesterday? Yes. There you go. I did also ask if there was an ancient site on this wall before the chapel was here and it said yes on multiple occasions, which makes sense. I've said before, do the ancients have a much more astute awareness of the atmosphere and energies than we have now? Okay, we do have a spot of dowsing as part of the um, Wessex Serpent Project. Uh, I'm in St Giles's Church in Ashtead, 12th century church. I'm going to ask a few questions with my rods. I said they cross, it's a yes, out, it's a no. And I hold them upside down just for better gravity. I'm looking for earth energy currents here, so. Does St Giles's Church and the Barrow lie on an earth energy current? Does the yeah, I'll ask again. Does St Giles's Church and the Barrow lie on an earth energy current, please? Thank you. Is this earth energy current, does it connect with the other sites that I've been to recently? Yes. Was there a supermarket on this site in 1200? Was there a supermarket on this site in 1200? No. I was asking a negative, sorry about that. People ask what I'm at, when I'm doing this, who I'm talking to. I usually do it just in my mind, but I'm doing it for the sake of the camera. When you're dowsing, you've got to have a clear intention of what you're dowsing for. So you're sending your thoughts and consciousness out into the ether, the unified field, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's hard to explain, you know, I'm someone who's Mr. Skeptic on everything and always wanting rational answers. Um, although we do live in a post ministerialistic universe, um, that's what we do, you know. Um, we've got to stop thinking in material terms and three dimensional terms. So, does the earth energy current that comes through here, the Wessex current that I'm seeking? Yes, and I've got a little twinge in my ear, my, that's quite strong. Does this site, St Giles's Church site, does it connect with Children Church? Does it connect with Children Church? Yes. 
does this site connect with West Humble Chapel? Does it connect with West Humble Chapel? Yes. Once more. Does this site, Earth Energy site, does it connect with Betworth Castle? Does it connect with Betworth Castle? Bear in mind, I'm not looking for ley lines. That's something slightly different. That's a straight alignment of sacred sites. I'm looking for an Earth Energy current, like a serpent. So, yeah. Onwards. Thank you.